You might look at the footage from these bombings and think to yourself, well, I look at the carnage here and feel sad and disgusted that this occurred, but I can't relate with a culture in a way that humanizes these people I'm seeing in these pictures. Now granted, that's probably and almost surely not the way that you would word it, but that essentially is something I think a lot of people would think, and for the first few moments, it's what I felt as well. And I sat here thinking to myself, I bet there are people who would look at that guy in blue and have some sort of conspiracy in their heads about him simply because he stands out a little more. Oh, look, he's in at least four of the photos taken at different times. Or some crap like that. Then as I looked through more pictures, I thought that someone might say to themselves, these women are probably smiling and they're trying to cover it up or that there's just something somehow sinister about their presence, as if the idea of them taking some sort of pride in who they are is somehow evil, as they look at the damage and the knowledge that this sort of thing could happen at any time, and that it's likely to happen again in the future, in that generalized geographic area, where you somehow have to hold your head up high and try to carry on with the hope that the community will rebuild, that people will unify for a genuinely common greater good, and continue trudging through the life they live there. There was a period of time when I would say that people should move away from places that suck, which really makes no sense in many instances. It's like asking people here in the United States who are living in a slum apartment, but it's all they barely have, to move to Portugal. Just pick everything up and leave, with not even enough money to pay for a 50th or even a 100th of the cost of getting just one person there, never mind the poverty they're already dealing with. The truth is, people unfortunately have to just try to carry on in the place they reside, no matter how awful it might be. Some people like to push towards the Muslims who are peaceful that they should just dump their religion, like telling a Christian to stop being Christian like it's some easy choice because of how many extremists are really giving it a bad name, making it harder for someone to feel like they can admit to having a particular branch of a belief system. That doesn't make it any easier to rid oneself of that kind of belief. It actually makes it harder because it's as if you can see the power it gives people. Religion does give people power to some degree. It gives them overconfidence in a number of things people have no business being that confident in, and lowered confidence and lowered self-esteem in most other areas. It leaves people as a fragment of what they have the potential to be, particularly in self-exploration. I mean, it's funny to me, not the ha-ha funny either, how Islam is a belief that most prominent atheists don't really know that well when it comes to the Quran, in contrast to what they know about the Bible. Yet so many declare it as the most absolutely and utterly evil thing on the planet. I mean, if you look at the Bible, when you really look at it, it's totally understandable that someone would eventually look at it and go, what the fuck is this? But when living in a culture where to actually follow the things that are in a religious book, and the language and everything about the culture is geared around things about that religious book, they most likely already know about those things and can't even ask, what the fuck is this? Sometimes when I say it's strange to speak poorly of Muslims who are genuinely kind and are open-minded, who make no attempts at proselytizing, I get told a lot of very negative phrases, many of those phrases having the words regressive pussy stuffed somewhere within them, especially after they say, well, not all Muslims, and I ask them which ones they don't have a problem with. Sad that it has come to that. Sad that we can look at a culture so poorly that it's as if we forget that they're even human. It's the same thing as the way that Native Americans were looked at by the settlers. People ask, well, how could we look at Native Americans so poorly back then? How could we view people as subhuman? And my answer is to just look at the way we look at those who follow Islam. No matter how peaceful some people who follow Islam may actually be, no matter what country they reside in, sad that we can look at pictures of a terrible incident and think to ourselves that these people somehow deserve that type of life, of being terrified, of suddenly being bombed. That they somehow deserve this simply because of the beliefs and customs of the area they reside. That they deserve it because they believe in Islam. I can't wrap my mind around that kind of hateful, full-on xenophobic view of people. People! Not belief systems, but people. 
who happen to identify as having a particular belief system because that's the geographic location where they were born and raised. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say in any way that people who come from cultures like that should just be able to come here and suddenly just mix right in and fit right in, even if they don't want to change their way of life. I'm not saying that at all. I'm also not trying to say that Islam is some good thing. No, not even slightly. Now, I can only speak about the United States here, but what we have allowed our government to do when in states of war, especially starting with Vietnam, Iraq being another really awful one, is unconscionable. We're one of the biggest exporters of weapons. We're constantly at war and inadvertently doing a number of horrible things in the process. And yet some people don't want to do a damn thing about that. They don't care how much our government has our military attack other countries in a way that almost seems to be indiscriminate. But then these same people turn around and tell people how important it is that we feel like being able to defend ourselves as individuals is a bad thing because guns are bad. Mm Mm-kay. Think about this. If this footage was of an attack by the United States, but through an attack from a jet, and the news stated that 12 important terrorist planners were killed in the attack, many people would not only think that the people there deserved the bombing for supposedly letting the terrorists have so much power, but that the collateral damage would be worth it. So, you know, happy 4th of July.